today's technical corner, I'm joined by Ian of Hymer, and we're going to be talking about tool balancing. Correct. You know, there's a lot of myths about tool balancing. Let's start with the basics. Okay, well, the basics are there's a huge misconception in the market. Uh, we, we, we visit a large amount of customers, large amount of companies, and we deal with an awful lot of engineers at different levels of engineering, whether the lead MEs, company owners, mm -hmm. company directors. And it's amazing how many people choose to ignore it. The majority of them understand it, whether they do want to do anything about it is, is their decision at the end of the day. But we hopefully will, will demonstrate the importance of running a balanced assembly. Uh, first off, we, I'll, I'll offer this piece of equipment to you, Joe. This, we use this massively on, on the, the demo van tours and whether anyone comes to the, mm -hmm. the office, the showroom in, uh, in the UK. Yeah. So what we're, what we're doing in essence here, we've got the machine spindle, if you like, and the tool holder. Okay, now at the minute, there's no weight, it's perfectly balanced. So if I spin that, you, you'll agree, there's no movement. Yeah, like a okay, car. Okay, so there's yeah. no, exactly, yeah. exactly. So there's no movement in the machine spindle, there's no movement sure. in the tool holder. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a series of weights. Now bearing in mind, this is quite a large amount of weight. This is 30 grams, okay? Now we're only spinning this possibly at 10, 20 mm -hmm. revs. So that's why to demonstrate sure. we add a large amount of weight. This set will have the same effect as adding, if you like, 0.3 grams of weight to something that spins at five, 6,000 okay. revs, okay? So we've just demonstrated that you're happy, it spins, mm -hmm. it's balanced. So we're gonna add a little bit of weight here, okay? Crikey, yeah. Uh so you, you can clearly see out of balance. it's out of balance, mm -hmm. okay? Now in essence, if that was on a machine, okay, all that movement, although fine, mm -hmm. would be going straight up the spindle and straight into the, the tool holder. But you wouldn't see it, would you? You wouldn't see yeah. it, yeah. On some of the, the higher end machines, machine tools, they do have spindle monitors on. Mm -hmm. We do see in the market that sometimes these are switched off, but that's a decision made by the machine tool guys sure. and the company. So how would you, okay, how, how uh, naturally, how would you correct the balance? I guess we've got two options, haven't I? Either add mass or remove mass. Uh, exa exactly. I haven't got a drill, so I've got to add mass, I suppose. Of course, so yeah. where, where do you think we'd add the mass? Uh, how, do, how do we counterbalance this? On the bottom. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so what we would do now, We'd, we'd measure the unbalance on the tool dynamic. Okay. Okay. The tool dynamic, once you put in the correct parameters, give the tool dynamic enough information to make the calculation in the background, mm -hmm. it will instruct you or give you a position how to correct the balance. You're right, whether remove the weight, add the weight, or shift the weight. And okay. we'll show you a little piece of equipment here. So, so we're going to add the weight in a given position. Okay? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So what we're doing there, in essence, again, we're maximizing the efficiency <coughs> of this. We've balanced the holder. We've balanced the holder, mm -hmm. okay? Now we've, we've added weight on this. <coughs> so, you rightly said, if that was the, the assembly in the spindle mm -hmm. at the beginning, okay, and it's unbalanced, we're gonna try and remove the weight, okay? With the tool dynamic, we have the option if we say, okay, how we're gonna correct, uh, correct the unbalance. So this time we're gonna remove the weight. So if you can put that down there, Joe, if that, if that makes sense. Perfect sense. Perfect sense. So if we have a look at this, this, this tool holder. So all Heimer tool holders are balanced to G 2.5 mm -hmm. at, 20, at 25,000 revs. Now G is a balance rating. All Heimer holders are balanced to G 2.5. Mm -hmm. But you can see with this, little drilled hole that there, okay? Yeah. That's been fine balanced. So from the factory. From the factory. We, <laughs> we estimate 90, 95, 97% of the tool holders produced by Hymer are unbalanced. Mm -hmm. That's the last operation, the fine balancing. <clears throat> That's the last thing we do to the tool holders, okay? So nothing leaves the factory. Of every single tool holder we manufacture is fine balanced. That's yep. the last operation. So, in essence, that's where we've removed the weight, okay? If we've not got the option of removing the weight, you can see the series of holes yep. 
around the periphery on these holders. Now these could be set at different, uh, different sure. lengths, different diameters. With that, we're able then to add the weight. Okay, again, the tool, di tool dynamic, we select the system where we're able to add the weight. This system will tell you where to add the weight mm -hmm. to correct the unbalance, okay? Thirdly, how do we correct it if we do, don't even have that option, okay? So we have a series of rings, yep. okay? If you have a look at the shape of that ring. Cool. Yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah, it's eccentric, mm -hmm. okay? Again, with a setting on the, on the machine, this will tell you where to position that ring around a given diameter. So these vary from anything from 42 millimeters down to 16, mm -hmm. so on and yep. so forth. So there's a little laser etched line there. So that would line up with the laser on the tool dynamic and you would simply position that in a given position <coughs> okay. to correct the unbalance. What, what happens when we build it up and we add a collet and a, and a nut as well? Well, again, the, the majority of the tool holders, when a lot, an awful lot of the competitors will advertise a balance rating mm -hmm. and at a given speed. Only recently we did a, we did a test by a, and we measured from balance from a, a couple of tool holders from a very well-known supplier who advertised the, the balance rating at G6.3, beg mm -hmm. your pardon, up to 15,000 revs. So, okay. That's what it says on the box. We open the box and lo and behold, there's naturally nothing on the holder. It says it on the box, mm -hmm. yeah? And I was the first one to open these, these tools from the customer and we measured them. And just on its own, yeah, the holder was out. But in answer to, to that question there, so more often than not, that's how it's balanced. Mm -hmm. Once you change the dynamics of that assembly by adding the collet nut, and the collet, mm -hmm. you change the physical structure of that. Uh, and I guess the tool itself, especially nowadays of unequal helix and, and, and such like, the tool's probably out of balance as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll demonstrate later on, a, later on how the difference with mm -hmm. the, a lot of the carbide on the market and the difference between the Hymer power mill and the Hymer mm -hmm. mill now. So I guess the big issue with, it, with this is, you, you close the door, you press cycle start, unless it's completely out of balance, you're not going to see it. It's almost like a silent killer, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. And there, we we live by the rule. If you can measure it, then measure it. And then it allows you to correct it. You're mm -hmm. removing the known, the known error. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if, a, for instance, a, a standard ER collet, if, if you was to spin that continuously, you will always hear a light hum, mm -hmm. a drum, somewhere but if you you look at this is the finer details with it that with the Heimer system so if we look you see the the slots yep. around yep. the outside you see how notice how they're all different lengths yeah okay now that nut has been fine balanced okay so we're putting a fine balanced nut in a fine balanced holder with a fine balanced mm -hmm. uh, backup screw the whole assembly is the balance. We start with the highest grade possible, mm -hmm. yeah? And the importance of it is, can be clearly demonstrated in so yeah. many so many tool holders we, uh, we measure for unbalance. I can imagine. At that stage, well, I guess you've got to, it's almost like your foundation of a house. It's got to be as strong as, as, as good as it could possibly be. Then ideally, you balance again once the tools are in place. Absolutely, yeah. We, the, the, again, the, the huge misconception where it doesn't need doing. Once mm -hmm. you change the dyma dynamics of any assembly, whether it's a, a solid carbide 10 milli, 12 milli, 16 milli, mm -hmm. or a solid carbide drill, fundamentally you're changing mm -hmm. that assembly. Now we, we understand that not everybody will, would be able to go out and buy a tool dynamic system. Mm -hmm. Okay, we accept that, but at least investigate it. If you continue to ignore it, yeah, sooner or later you will have issues. Yeah, so, just finally to conclude, what are the what are the advantages? Obviously, we, we spindle life, tool life, things like this. But can can you tell us? Well, from a from a solely an engineering point of view, the the tool life, yeah. Uh, manufacturing will always have issues with surface finish, tolerance, movement. But if you run a completely balanced assembly, yeah, we will we will guarantee that you will see a marked improvement in tool life. 
in machine data, mm -hmm. spindle life. That's what you're looking at. Again, you're removing the knowns. Mm -hmm. Once you're able to do that, everything's good. Mm -hmm. So for people watching this video, yeah. you know, how are they going to learn more? Obviously, you've got your website, but is there anything else you can offer? Trials, demonstrations? Absolutely, yeah. We, uh, we're more than happy if, if somebody w is willing to investigate it or wants to know more about it. We're, we're more than happy to have these guys down at Hymer UK, uh, at our showroom uh, over near Burnley in Lancashire. Mm -hmm. we're, we welcome anyone to come over. It's, uh, we'll say, a free of charge s a service. Yeah, just mm -hmm. for solely in investigation. But why wouldn't you? Why would why wouldn't you investigate it? We've well, got to investigate it, haven't we? Of course. Yeah, yeah one hundred percent. There you are. We've heard it from Heimer. They believe in tool balancing. Maybe you should as well.